In this last video of our authentication section, I want to show you how you can let your users edit their own details. So I'm going to open up the console and uh, clear it out and let me rake routes for users so that I can know which one to do here. So I'm going to say grep user and we want to find the one that lets us edit user details and I know it takes in the ID as a parameter so I just want to find the path name here so edit user password edit user there we go edit user registration you can see the path is going to be slash users and edit and let's see right here it almost looks like uh, we don't even have to pass any values to it so let me start the server up and we're going to add this here so it's going to be sign out and also now we're going to have edit so I'll say edit account remember we need to have that path on there and we don't need this method hit save open up the browser where we need to sign in so I'm going to sign in here click edit account and there we go so we can change now the email address so say I wanted to make it Jordan 1 and uh, I'm going to leave this blank because I don't want to change it um, now if I hit refresh right here it says current password can't be blank and that's because in order to change this device has it set up where I need to enter in my password which is good so I hit update and that works now if I click edit account you can see my email address has been updated and now is Jordan one at Hudgens.com the other cool thing you can do is you can actually let your users cancel their own account usually for your application you wouldn't want that to happen but it's nice that you do have the ability to do it and the workflow with that is I click cancel my account it says are you sure hit OK and it says by your account has been successfully canceled we hope to see you again soon now you may wonder also where can I customize all of these announcements and there's an easy way to find out so just copy some of the text come back to sublime and I hit command shift F is in Frank V uh, or paste it in and then it's going to find all of this right here for me so you can see when it created that config locales device uh, YAML file you can see this is where everything goes so I could change all of this content each one of these messages can be customized so right here it has a confirmation it has mailers it has registration when it says welcome you've signed up successfully you could change this to say something like thank you for signing up for an account hit save and with this one you will need to restart the server because this change was happening in the config directory so I'm going to restart the server come back to the browser and I'm going to register for a new account and hit sign up and look at that it says thank you for signing up for account so that's how you customize those messages that are built in with device so great job if you went through this section you now have everything that you need to know in order to create registration signing in and signing out into your application